Looks like we got chirp going first up as a boomy versus bow boom versus boomy how is that gonna go actually chirp and bow and i think both of them are convoking druids or maybe no maybe shallow druids the next first i think i'm still trying to figure out who's first yeah i think i'm trying to figure out who's first who are we throwing against chirp is it Archie or is it chirp first it looks like Archie. it looks like this guy's a little bit of confusion looks like Archie's is gonna be first up and uh cal the rogue is going to be first up. He's playing that Night Fae sub rogue. Opening up with the full Shadow Blades versus Arhi. Big burst in the opener. Arhi is going to get himself a Battle Master Stricken rolling immediately. And Kel just tried to see if he could blast the damage into Arhi. But he's going for full heals. Goes was up and running. And Kel does get himself a Sippy Cup rolling. That's going to be tricky for Kel. I'm not really sure what he trinketed. But he does dip into stealth as the, uh, the Ventir Chain Harvest comes out. Sap onto Arhi with a cheap shot immediately. Kind of... I think kind of screws up his uh, energy regen a little, doesn't it? Big stun totem getting set up by Arhi with a blind by Chirp. Kel, I mean, I was, I was so prepared to uh, call uh, the duel for Chir Chirp. <laughs> so I already got that in my name. Only drilled in. Arhi sitting in a ghost. We'll try to see if we can pick up another set of ice. Kel, try to see if we can sap him. Before he gets the open Cal without a shadow blades does have dance back up and available so he could maybe have a, a go versus Arhim. Arhim just needs to get the rogue out in the open for a second. There's no vanish available for him, so it could be a decent go. Like a counter go versus Kel. He's gonna get a cheap shot at yet again. Kel got himself plenty of damage rolling up. Arhim does for him to cut a little big heal with a massive, massive, massive healing surge with a maelstrom. Or he does have a sentence if he wants to do it. Sending a ghost wolf while the damage is coming out from Kel. I think he's basically sending out while the vengeance is up. He's going to send in ghost wolf. So at least he can get some healing while in ghost. Get a shot could be coming out of Kel anytime soon. Or he does have a wall for it. Does have a trinket. Is an orc. Clock shot is up for Kel. Try to see if he might be able to get the hell from Arhim. And if Arhim can just send him with a flame shock, I think he does tag him. Maybe a frost shock would have been better because he now got to get on top of Kel before he can catch a reset. Does actually hit him in AoE. Looks like Kel didn't have the biggest shield possible with a dot. And he's going to get a kidney shot onto Arky. Short kidney shot, but I think Kel is down. Actually, no, he waits out for that vanish. Okay. So the rogue bought himself enough time to catch a reset. Arky does not have eyes anywhere available. I don't think it's up there. No, it's not up there. Not behind this big pillar statue of Ra is it I want to say it's Ra because it's a bird right that's a dog that's a goat a bull Ra has to be Ra he definitely got himself a nice reset with the uh soul shape but that shield reset dude he just wouldn't let you he just wouldn't let you it's like I just gotta get away and as soon as I catch a restart I'm free next patch you'll free me for like four seconds while the shield holds but then you'll be coming out of south either way and Cal out the open versus Arhi does blind him. I think he's trying to see if he can get a trick out of Arhi, but Arhi is the one taking damage. And Cal's looking for the reset with Ghosties. I don't really know if he, he probably was thinking, you know what? I'm just going to go for a, make the guy who forced the trick it out, then hit him with a kidney shot. That's going to be another set of eyes getting almost picked up by Arhi. Getting kind of low is going to go for a chain harvest reverse and almost like hell swapping with Kel. Is going to try to see if he can hit him with a stun totem. Does land the stun totem. Perfect opportunity for him to make some damage happen. Is going to hit him with a frost shot. Keeping the rogue at least slowed in front of the orc shaman. That's the best you can do right now. Just keep the rogue slowed. As he does have a, uh, a grounding a earth bind totem down. Does zap the rogue right in the chest. Stop in the heart. Actually kind of when you put it like that but does take the rogue out after a few resets malfurion is up next at arky maybe picked up the eyes a little bit early with some malfurion i'm pretty sure you would have wanted to wait for a sec hang up by the eyes dip in see if you can catch the feral disrupt the opener because this feral burst opener is going to be deadly boys big necro lord opened by the feral going for a full burst no berserk with us go He's got the bleeds up and running. Full asset is up for Arhi. Just gonna try to see if he can go counter burst. He's gonna purge off the thorns. Wall is up for Mafurian. So Arhi, his damage, mostly just gotta worry about getting himself maintained and healed up. He does have a pre wall if he needs to. He does have a trick if he needs to. Trying to actually get some damage on Mafurian. And those wind strikes actually forcing him back behind the pillar. If he can somehow just catch the feral in a, a dot or a, a slow, he'll be in a great spot. He's gonna throw down the binding, binding totem down. Earthbind towed him down, but it's not going to be enough to keep him slow behind the pillar. 
That's going to be yet another opener from uh, Furion R. He rotating with the wall as well as with the Earth Elemental. Chain Harvest is up. My Furion no longer has wall available. So it could be in a bad spot. Actually kind of dipping out to half a shell. Big heals coming up from my Furion either way. Does have big blades available. Big stun up for Arhi. Trinket for my Furion has thorns rolling. It's going to be Ghost who's up and running. Arhi has got himself lots of males from rolling in right now. There's going to be lots of healing he can get from a males from. Short bash by my Furion looking for that defensive reset. And Arhi trying to keep it slow onto my Furion as best as he can. Barrel form is switching between forms. I think he's just gonna sit in bear from trying to see if he can get a roll for a roar into Arky. Doesn't drop him. Massive damage on him if you're in. So that's gonna be huge damage by Arky. Actually just blasting him with those wind strikes. Oh my god, the wind fury. The wind fury procs were massive. I don't think the Feral even expected that kind of burst out of him. And Jesus is gonna be up next as a Necro Lord on Holy Death Knight. He's gonna get himself the full army, taking down the totems in the way while walking towards Arky. It looks like the ghost wolf is going to keep Arhi in the good graces for a little bit. Trying to see if he can slow down Jesus a little. But he does need to get himself a little bit of a reset. He needs to get some cooldowns rolling. Ghost wolf is down. The sentence is down. Wall not up for 20 seconds. That's going to be army of the undead charging at him. So as long as he can send in that ghost wolf, he's actually just getting passive healing. From the uh, spirit healing, spirit wolf. The, the ghost wolf healed on a town that he's most likely running. It's going to be grip, but Jesus trying to see if he can get himself an army of the dead rolling. Abomination is finally in sight. So Jesus could have himself a big go. Arhi trying to get aggressive though. Full army of the dead. I think Jesus maybe was trying to see if he could just walk Arhi, put him with the pets, not letting him touch the uh, death knight. As Arhi does have to burn through our fleshcraft shield. The fleshcraft down. Jesus taking significant hits though. Trying to see if he can just walk away. The gold swift isn't going to let him go anyway though. Jesus can keep slowing down Arhi, but as soon as he's in Ghost so if he's running at 100% speed at the very least. And Jesus, unless he has himself death advanced, he doesn't really move that much faster. So for Jesus, it's going to be his cooldowns kind of just out of the window. All these bursts was used. So Arhi, as he's actually coming back with cooldowns, he got Ghost was coming back up. Still holding on to a wall, so he's a-okay. Can still just keep chasing after Jesus. going to be a stun, not using a trinket for this one. He knows he's going to need to catch up to Jesus, who's got himself full flash card rolling, is going to get that interrupt of flash card. Just needs to get some slows on Jesus. Death advance getting used by the death Knight to keep moving. If Arhi can only get some kind of a slow onto Jesus, then he'll be in a great spot. Jesus get himself, I think, a dot up or something on the uh, the totem. Definitely hit the totem with something. Sun totem around the corner, sundering. Jesus is going to get hit with a full sunder. Does human racial out it with AMS available. Arhi though got plenty of melee damage to hit him right through. The wind strike, the, the uh, wind fury strikes in particular, just all melee damage on Arhi. Actually start taking a bit of damage ramping up from the A-bomb. What is keeping on? He just keeps keeping on. Bo is going to be up next. Going to be a full convoking Fey Boomy. Trying to see if he just gets a couple of rats in him, maybe get himself a uh, eclipse before he goes in for full damage versus Arhi. Arhi with a big chain harvest, gonna be a merge to heal him for bow. As he's still trying to get a wrath up and running, just missing it. Instead, gonna go with a warrior of a loon, I think. Yeah, so far it looks like it's warrior of a loon, but so far Arhi just been able to kind of just keep blasting him, hitting him with a slow. And so far, bow just hasn't played his cards yet. I think he's waiting for the right opportunity to go for a full incarnate fear of a loon convoke strategy. He needs to get cooldowns out of Arhi. He needs to maybe get a wall out of him. He needs to maybe get a trick out of the guy. Entangled Roots is going to get interrupted. Maybe he just wants to go for Entangled Roots into a silence and then have a full go. Maybe that's what he's really trying to do. Try to get a Wrath up and running. But Bo so far has taken damage bit by bit. Eventually he's going to have to make a play or something. He's going to have to give an answer or something. Because Arhi is just going to keep sitting on him. The Shaman got plenty of healing. Plenty of defenses. He got cooldowns. He's just saving them until he needs them. Interrupt on the heal for Bo. Who's still just out in the open, has not even went for a bash. Convoke, try to see if you can make a big Convoke play. It's going to be Grotted Totem absorbing every one of the Convoke hits. Oh no, this is where a bow just... I guess he could interrupt his own Convoke to kill this, the Grounding, but it's just super unfortunate. He tried to go just for a quick root silence, just try to do something, anything. Because he knew that the longer he just waits, the less good it's going to be for him. And maybe he might be able to get himself a bit of a reheal. No. Nope. Regrowth, that's gonna be a big old zap by Arhi. Dude, so far Arhi has just been able to stand top top with everybody, but Charlotte might be turning this one around. Fear? No, not fear onto Arhi, it was something else. Arhi does catch up on a little bit of healing, needs to keep the rogue out in combat though. That's gonna be his true test. Is a Necrolord sub rogue. Can Arhi beat him? So far he beat a Nightface sub rogue. He's beat Druids. 
This is going to be his last true test. Can he go for a big old 1v5? Can Arhi go for a big old 1v5? This duel, dude. This will be it. The last duels of 9 0. The big 1v5 for Enhanced Shaman. Can he do it? Shadow taking a bit of damage, though. Arhi still holding on to Trinket as well as the wall. Going to be Fear onto Arhi. Does go for a full Ascendance. Does get Charlotte super low. Arhi has not used a Trinket just yet. Charlotte is definitely going to get himself a reset here. Wall available for Arhi. Maybe Eyes available as well. And Charlotte not going super far away from the Shaman. Hitting him with those saps. Let's keep him out in the open. 39% damage, so Shalad Risa is getting a little bit of healing. But it is denied by dampening. A good one of it is denied by dampening. Big shot of blades are available. Or he does choose trickle. Wall is available. Get a shot by the rogue. And Arhi needs to go for as much self-healing as possible. He does have wall. He needs to get himself some maelstrom. Does get a sunder onto Shalad. Does go for a heal with a healing stream totem, but a blind. Shalad is gonna have an earth elemental on him, not let him reset unless he does go for vanished, and that's exactly what he does. Another healing surge is up for Arhi. Was in combat from the Earth Elemental for a bit. Sapped yet again. Arhi, if he can somehow survive this next go for Charlotte Risa, he might be okay. He does need to get himself a stun totem in or something. Ghost needs need to come out immediately. He needs to get Maelstrom to at least keep healing. Stun. At least he's a Ghost Wolf. Has some healing from it. Has going to be full damage out of Charlotte Risa. The Ghost Wolf healing is still pretty good. He needs to get Ghost Wolf up and running himself. Does have enough Maelstrom to work with here. And that's going to be evasion by the rogue. Arhi jumps back into Ghost Wolf. Does get himself heals whenever he does have enough Maelstrom. But honestly, sending Ghost Wolf and getting some slows onto Shadow Risa might be the play. Flesh Cap is up. Does have a Sunder for it. So Shadow Risa doesn't even have the Flesh Cap where he immune CC. Try to see if he just walk out of it. Just Ghost Wolf biting at him. If he can just hit him with a slow. Does hit him with a slow. Kid a shot onto Arhi. And Shadow Risa trying to see if he can just take him down. That's going to be probably down for the count. Does get himself one more heal in between. Oh no. Shadow Risa does get out of there. Scott free before the statue exposed for Arhi. But that was a clean one before by Arhi work. I think he honestly did himself a really good job, dude. He had some really good damage. Really, really good damage. This Wind Fury damage that he had, especially against the Feral Joy, dude, just, just proc city, dude. Just procked up a storm on the guy. It's not even funny. It's going to be Shadow Risa getting a sap onto Chirp with a Shadow Strike immediately. I don't know if a Boomy can actually beat a Rogue like this. No, he does have a Trinket actually, no Cluck of Shadow, so maybe a Chirp can just get himself like a really big go with Shadow Risa without any resets for the Rogue. He might be okay. It's going to be a Trinket come Vogue. Does he go for an Interrupt? The Rogue doesn't even go for an Interrupt until later. And it's going to be Fear. Does Shadow Risa have enough dots on him? One more dot. One more dot tick. Just anything. Just keep him in combat before reset. Trying to see if he can stay on him. Shadow Risa does catch a reset with a sap. Oh no. He does have dots ticking on him, but they're not doing enough damage to break that shield. They're not breaking that shield. Oh. If only maybe he could just moon fire him or something. Does roar the rogue. <laughs> does roar the rogue out of there. And he needs to just get some kind of dots onto Shadow Risa. Just enough. He does. The rogue has a vanish, so he'll be pretty good so far. Blind onto chirp. And Rogue is just trying to go for a reset, get himself a couple more goes without having to vanish just yet. Wants to save it for later. Sap and a flesh cut for the Rogue Chirp has no... Can't really do much about it. But Chirp does get a bash on Chaldrisa. He just needs to get himself some kind of a CC chain or any kind of damage on Chaldrisa. But looks like he's going to be chained himself. Without full kidney shot, no trick available, no barks. Actually, maybe I might have had barks in there too. He might have had Barks in there, actually. Well, there it is. Alex Stradia is going to be up next. We still have Mamaka. We still have Chrysbet. Can this rogue really make a comeback from all these competitors? Sap onto the Warlock, but the Warlock's pet is going to get Shaladrisa out in combat immediately. I guess you could go kidney shotting the pet if you want to, right? Might as well get some comp points of this thing, anything. At least. Which one will come with a strong cure and a record? Uh, for PvE or PvP? I think both are good for PvP. You can make an argument for both for PvP. I think Kirin is still really, really strong though. Even in 9-1. I'd be surprised if it's not strong. Stun onto Shaladrisa. As he goes for Kidney Shot onto Alexstradia. Does go for a cheap shot. Looking for the reset. Oh my goodness. Yeah, dude. These rogues are not going to be able to reset like that next patch. Does burn his shot amount for this one though. Eyes up. Shaladrisa is going to get caught out. Does have the 100% crit opener, I believe. We'll see. 
It's gonna be cheap shot into big damning mortal coil onto Shadow Drissa. Does have evasion fear spammed. Like Shadi is trying to get himself an army of demons up and running. Decimated bolt. Actually, oh no, he could get a full decimated bolt and then a smoke bomb. Does keep Shadow Drissa out. I actually caught a reset. I guess there's not much you can really do unless you can get your pets to run out and faster or maybe soul strike. There isn't much you could really do in that case. Or maybe you could like hit the rogue with a cur curse. Maybe hit on the rogue with a curse of weakness or curse of uh exhaustion might have been the play there but actually the rogue caught himself reset double stump with the fellow guards and that's going to be a tyrant trying to make a play does go for an interrupt does miss it that's going to be a tyrant up and running child jason does have the perfect line inside to get behind though it's going to be lots of demons chasing after him with a flesh cup should be able to catch back up on health a lit should be a-okay more that's going to be a tyrant actually blasted him well maybe he might want to avoid the tyrant now that the fleshcraft is down, try to maybe go for an interrupt on the tyrant. The tyrant is gone. It does go for a vanish, man. This rogue is going for lots of resources, dude. 70 minutes, 72 percent dampening. This is going to be hopefully kind of gone next patch. Maybe, you know what I mean? 21 minutes, 99 percent dampening. Oh, I never realized that the pet has like that. Con That's a cool animation. I never realized that. What? That's actually kind of nuts. I never realized the pet has that animation before. Shadow Reset does have a full shield. That's why like Shadi needs to get full set of demons. That's the second Felguard up and running. Could go maybe for another stun with the other Felguard. Evasion is up. Needs to get Demon Doggers and maybe a Tyrant. Wall is available. I feel like he just needs to go and buff up his Tyrant. So Drissa has a vanish though. So that could be really, really bad. Cloak of Shadows. Nope. No Cloak of Shadows. Does have a vanish though. But it's not going to vanish all these pets. Stun of Shadow Drissa. Does the Tyrant get at least one cast in there? Vanish pick up the eyes immediately oh no he gotta pick up the eyes immediately he's going free he's going free he's trying to do it dude Risa trying to see if he can stop it tyrant get one cast please tyrant got at least one cast two casts big fear on all these pets and risa gets slow being a necro lord with m and his soul bind alex started burying the health shall risa and does the rogue go down does the rogue die oh he killed the rogue he actually killed the rogue 22 minutes oh my goodness that was a long duel Oh my goodness, dude. Well, we are doing some duel last duels of patch 9 known. And Rogues hopefully shouldn't be able to do that in 9 in 9-1. So